right, got some stuff to do today. Whoa, extremely tight fit, which means that Jenny has been driving the Forerunner. Bye. Love you. Love you. This morning I woke up with tons of negative thoughts swirling around in my head. Thoughts of, I can't continue to do this vlog, I'm too busy, or I'm being irresponsible. All the things that could just make you spiral. My stepfather-in-law likes to call this head trash. Now this guy's the man. He wrote a book back in the day called Raising Boys and it kind of exploded. And he's a writer, a motivational speaker, entrepreneur, he's just an awesome guy. Now he talks for a lot of different Fortune 500 companies and he specifically helps people unlock their potential and help them find blockers and remove those blockers. His specific focus lately has been something called neuro-linguistic programming. And you can Google this and look it up. The long and the short is, he has dubbed a term called spooling. Spooling is really a term that applies to jet engines. As the jet engine begins to start up, the momentum begins to take over. And in a lot of ways, when we have what he calls head trash, we begin to do the same thing. We start spooling specific thoughts. And what's crazy is both of these things require effort. You have to consciously put a thought in to play that you're not good enough, or you can't do it, or maybe it's something that was spoken over you. Regardless, you can spool that thought until the engine pops on and you're headed in a direction that maybe you didn't intend to go. And so this morning, I was dealing with that. I can't do this. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Why am I doing this vlog? Is my business on track? Am I being a good father? All of these doubts. One thing that Bill specifically says that I thought was interesting is that the negative thoughts will increase the closer you get to something that you're trying to attain. Those are the things that hold us back from fully being ourselves and realizing our potential. Because the biggest enemy of your own goals and your own things is really you. What's stopping you? The voices in your head. And it takes a lot of energy and self-reflection to find those things and say, wow, those thoughts are keeping me from doing something that I want to do. And regardless of how I feel, I'm going to continue to move forward and kill the head trash. You can spool other thoughts. I've noticed lately practicing gratitude and really meditating, spooling on things that are good and reminding myself of the progress I'm making, the things that bring me life. Over time, as you begin to spool both negative and positive things, it'll get easier to go to that place. The best example I've ever heard of this was about addiction. And the example that was used was such a good one, but it talked about a field of wheat. And so imagine a path that goes around this wheat field and you decide, you know, that path is a lot of work. I'm just gonna simply cross this wheat field. And the more times you go back and forth, you begin to form a path. And your brain remembers that path. And it knows that it's easier to go to point A to point B by just simply crossing that path. And it remembers that path instead of walking around. And over time, it becomes easier and easier and easier. And you literally rewire that path. Well, the same could be said for good things as well. Now, what's hard about addiction is, is that even if you lay off that path and walk around, and even if that wheat grows back, there'll still be traces of where that path was. And that's why it's so hard to fight addiction because our brain remembers that path and we have to put so much constant energy and time into that. But the good thing is, is that it's possible. It's possible that we could form other paths that are healthy paths. The same thing happens in our brain with negative thoughts. Oh man, I knew it. I know that I'm a failure. I know I can't do this. Uh, you're a day late and a dollar short. Whatever that was spoken over us, whatever we speak over ourselves, it's really a mental head game of how you're talking to yourself. The power of thought is phenomenal. And really what we think of ourselves, how we view ourselves, is how we're probably going to treat and view other people. So what are you spooling today? Are you spooling head trash? or are you spooling thoughts that will allow you to reach your potential? Oh, snap. Someone got busted. Crap is this stuff? Rain? In SoCal?